Alrighty folks, good morning. <clears throat> Another service today. So I thought I'd explain a little bit more about that. Waiting on the hot oiler to get here. So the casing valve will shut the tubing valve. We'll let this pumping unit run up to you know 450 500 psi we'll put a bunch of pressure on the tubing <clears throat> and then we will shut it down and uh get the hot oiler hooked up on the uh, wing valve here and we'll do a dead drop right and that's that's what we do here on the service service is a dead drop where we put this entire bucket uh, the ECO 900 downhole degreaser and corrosion inhibitor will put the whole five gallon bucket into one 60 barrel shot and send it down to the bottom <clears throat> and then we'll put the rest of the water fresh water behind it and then we'll get a load of production water it's a little bit heavier and we'll put that down hole and run while we're running the pump and uh, bleed the uh, pressure off the tubing and uh, after that we shut it shut it in kill the well well that by the time we put that production down we will most likely kill the well you won't see any more flare and then uh, we'll let it sit for 24 hours all right Alrighty folks, so your short update, which isn't good, I guess we'll leave those open, looks like we probably blew a hole in the tubing, so we shut our tubing valves and everything down, we were building pressure for our dead drop with our chemical, and I want to say we didn't even get to 400 it just shot down to zero and we couldn't get any more pressure out of it that is most likely a hole in the tubing so looks like we blew a hole in the tubing when we pressured up and uh no it should not have done that it should have held uh, plenty of psi uh i mean these things are who knows it's 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 hard to say what happened you know they're this tubing's been in there for over a year or so. It could be just a bad spot in the tubing or whatever, but it is a bad deal. Uh, immediately went to vacuum. So we, we just put everything down hole. We're gonna let it sit. Uh, uh, we'll go up, go up top and make some phone calls, but uh, most likely we'll be seeing a workover rig on here. We're gonna probably end up pulling tubing on this, so. Morning, folks. Happy Sunday to you, even though it feels like a bunch of Mondays to me, but uh, happy Sunday, everybody. Thanks for being here. Thanks for all the new subscribers, comments, uh, comments. Hey, I, I want to let you guys know I do my best. Um, some of them are hidden. Some of them are hard to find once I see them, uh, but I do my best to get back to y'all. And sometimes I'm just really busy. So, and one, one other thing, comment I should get to is, uh, smell my finger again can't tell if that's a troll or a legitimate dude but uh i was asking about i, I should have went back and read the comment but something about production on these older wells um and difference between the new production and old production well that's a huge subject to go into and you know someday we should do a video entirely on that uh, but yeah there's initial production and there's production declines um and i forgot and i haven't recently looked up the original spud date on this well but i want to say it's getting to be about 15 years old and like i said before we uh the production varies on treatment but it averages 40 to 50 barrels a day which is which is great um sometimes it can go down it can have some slow days you know and it can have some better days but uh a well will typically decline in production. Um, and there's a huge difference between, uh, you know, a, a 10,000 foot ladder or a 10,000 foot mile and a half lateral, you know, 150 stage frack and 
an 8,000 foot vertical frack. So uh, that's a big subject to get into, but uh, if I even kind of touched on your question, it would be that there's all sorts of different uh, production declines um, and all so different sorts of formations. So this this formation is the Dupro, and there's actually two different uh, pay layers on it. Uh, so we have another another pay zone to, to shoot in this uh, this hole to uh, to get more production out of it when it finally goes down to a number that we're not satisfied with. So hopefully that kind of touched on your your question, um, but we will probably sometime in the future uh, dive into uh, IP numbers and production declines. So alrighty, folks. So for starters today. Uh, or actually this was yesterday, uh, we blew a hole in the tubing on this well. Um, we were going down for normal service and we shut the tubing side down and let it build pressure. Uh, we like to build up to about 500 PSI. Uh, when we're doing <clears throat> our dead drops or our slugs, most people call it a slug, uh, where we put all of our chemical down the first load, uh, build that pressure up and try to force all the chemical back into the formation. Uh, we got to about barely 400, 350, moving on up to 400, and it uh, just blew out to zero. So that's 100% a hole in the tubing. So we had to shut everything in, shut everything down. Uh, and we'll most likely be in, be having a workover in here by the end of the week. So so we'll, uh, we'll keep you updated on that, and we'll show you the process of bringing a service rig in and uh, and pulling the tubing out. And put new tubing in so so that'll be happening just what we needed here but uh <clears throat> so that was our day yesterday uh we did the service everything's down hold and sitting which is actually good and uh then we were off to the rig so um one other thing i wanted to to uh mention to you or talk about today was uh the the way the rates are going and something that happened to me the other day uh, and something to think about if you guys are up here or anybody ever talking to you about rates and they bring up the, the production rate. Um, and they say, and this is the all too familiar words they say, right? Well, it's just the same as 120 an hour, or it's just like making 110 an hour. You just, it, it's a, it's a one hour round trip. Okay. Well, first off, I'd like to say, well, if it is, then why don't you just pay the 110 an hour? Just a question. If, if if you're telling me that it's the same, then what's wrong with paying the hundred what the regular hourly rate? All right? There's a reason. Uh number two I'd say and it may be faster, and it is sometimes, especially on four inch, but if it's a half hour to get loaded and a half an hour to get unloaded, and you're not a helicopter, how long does it take you to drive there? Just another question I have. So, so a couple things to think about. There's a I was gonna get. I don't want to get too too into it. Maybe maybe later on we will. But you know, I've been around long enough to know better. So <laughs> I kind of got into it with somebody about about uh, some work. And yeah, I did actually turn it down for now. Cows are a little upset today. But uh, anyways, something to think about when it comes to running an oil field rates and, and things they tell you and uh my my reply for the past year or so has been well you know if it's the same then why not just pay the hourly rate so and i i don't get very good responses back so something to think about all right folks we're going to move on try to wrap this day up uh look forward to the upcoming videos on this on servicing this well and uh we'll see you soon y'all be blessed